Hello everybody, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the daily read for Tuesday the 16th of July 2019 and this is for all signs, so it won't resonate with everybody. It's also the Capricorn full moon partial lunar eclipse on the 16th of July as well. So added energy there. Okay, we have the magician in the mirror. Let me read that out to you. Knowing and using your power. Knowing and using your true power, I should say. This card represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. In the magician's left hand is the flame of passion and action. In his right hand is a vortex of water and the light of reflection. This highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician and within your grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirit. The water is the energy of yin, the power of spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang, bringing direction and creativity. Together they give you the magnificent magic of transformation. The mirror stands beside the magician, reflecting the outer world's response to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have. Its silver reflection reveals the future in a mist on the horizon, ready to be magically formed. When you receive the magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life. And just as an alchemist turns base, metal, base metals into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. This is true in every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny and the mists of the future will clear into brilliant reality. Isn't that beautiful? And you know, there's a lot of transformational energies around, certainly with this full moon. We have the moon conjunct with Pluto. Talking about intense feelings, but nevertheless, certainly when that Pluto energy turns up, the planet of death, destruction, transformation, rebirth, there's opportunity either to let go or to allow your emotions to guide you in some way. A transformative effect, most definitely. And we also have the sun opposite Pluto as well. As long as you, yeah, you see, card of, yeah, card of Pluto. We have the death card, card of Scorpio, ruled by Pluto. Ability to let go of things that you don't need in your life. This is very much an intense moon. Sun opposite Pluto can talk about conflict, excessive behaviour. Um, okay, we have, yeah, endings and new beginnings are on offer. We have the Four of Swords and we have the Three of Wands. You know, I will read them because... I think the cards are coming out for a reason, so let's just put them all here. Let's go with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No more cards turned over, did they? Yeah, I think that's everything. Okay. Let me just line this up a little bit better because I've pulled out quite a few cards for today. All right. Okay, just give me a moment. I'm going to start here. We have the Three of Swords and we have the Seven of Cups. 
So the Seven of Cups is Venus in Scorpio. So I kind of feel some of you are... I mean, this can be an idea of, of wanting to make your hopes, dreams, wishes a reality. Venus is that wonderful promise of something great, something uh, positive coming into your life. But it really is about you get, getting hold of the opportunity and making it happen. The Three of Swords, you know, I mean, we know this card. There are levels to this card as well. It doesn't surprise me the Three of Swords has appeared in this reading because, again... That Pluto energy, uh, certainly that moon conjunct with Pluto, we will be certainly things from the past, even things that we buried deep from years ago, could resurrect, could be resurrected. And if, I mean, it can well be intense emotions. Now, if those emotions are not positive emotions, if they're negative emotions, that can link to that Three of Swords energy. And it is about moving forward with... Um, possibility or the possibility of the opportunity to move forward now in your life uh, again this is venus in scorpio and we have uh, scorpio in the death card as well there's an opportunity to really bring transformation to your life but there is something about releasing deep hurts releasing deep emotion from the past in order to really grab hold of possibilities for the future uh, so powerful energies there and, yeah, I think for some of you, certainly that Three of Swords, the Tower energy. <laughs> I mean, this is the card of Mars, the Tower. I think some of you are... There, there's, some of you may have gone through change or are still going through change, maybe as a result of that Three of Swords energy. Now, Three of Swords can be in relationships. Um... As it's a general reading, it can be deep hurts in other areas of your life as well, just areas where you've not been treated well or not been treated fairly or have been wounded in some way. Could be by communication. Doesn't have to necessarily by, be by people's actions. Words are just as hurtful in that Three of Swords situation as, as people's actions. So whatever that Three of Swords was, the Tower energy is, is kind of indicating that it brought, it brought about change, but it would have been destructive change. There, again, with the tower, there are levels to this card, but this is about big change. And it is saying that change needed to happen in order for you to be liberated in some way, in order for you to see the truth of a situation. Um, because this is when people's masks are revealed, the masks of a situation, the falsities that you may have trusted, relationships that were built not on solid foundations... It kind of says, certainly with that square tower and the round crown, something certainly doesn't fit you anymore. And change needed to happen in order to align you to your true destiny. So the Queen of Cups for me is, it can be about doing things. The way to overcome this energy is to do things from the heart. Possibly, you know, from a position of love, from a position of compassion, also, it is very much about connecting with yourself and me as well. Um, the Queen of Cups is a card of Cancer, and we are in the Cancerian season as well still. Certainly with the 16th of July energy and that full moon in Capricorn. So it's interesting that we have the Cancerian energy here, and we've also got the Capricorn energy appearing here. And the Cancerian energy is very much about home, family, all of those kind of things that, you know, give us solidity, emotional solidity in some respects. And I kind of think this is, this is the promise of you finding that. Whether it's in a relationship, this can be an offer of love after moving on from, from hurt in the past. Or really being un allowed to see the truth of a situation with that tower energy in order to fully embrace who you are and reconnecting with yourself fully uh, finding yourself again i do feel that queen of cups energy can be reconnecting to you it can be coming back to a place of love there's something about going with the flow with this energy as well and trusting your intuition to make decisions so whatever this energy is whatever the tower energy is whether it's career or relationships 
there is something about making decisions from the heart in order to move on. Now, there could be a cancer, some uh, a cancerian sign or a water sign in general, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, giving you some advice to move on, giving you direction. But really, I'm feeling a reconnection with you in this card. I'm feeling that the choices that you make as well should be from the heart, should be from a place of love. I think it's realigned you to a place of love, maybe having turned your back on that love um, for a period of time. I do think there is something resurrection about this energy as well. You know, it might well be while you're going through change, things are coming up that you didn't expect to think about. And, it, and as, as I said, it could be from a few days ago, it could be from years ago. And it's coming up so you could come back to you properly. And that's what I, I kind of think this is as well. We have the Five of Cups and we have the Four of Swords. I think this is taking time to, again, past losses, uh, mourning what's gone. All of that is very much the Five of Cups energy, whether it's in career or relationships or just friendships. This is time, are you taking time to really reflect and see the truth of a situation? It's a really good message, actually, just taking time to see the truth of a situation, which is exactly what that tower reveals. Because some of you, you know, some of you may well be caught up in emotions, don't you, with that five of cups energy. And it is about taking time to see the truth in order to move on. Now, the Five of Cups can be a loss in it can be a loss in, lost relationship again. Things coming back from the past to be released, to to find acceptance, to be still for that for that point in time. This somebody is 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 still for just to recover their breath. They're only still for a short amount of time. But it's to regroup, it's to see the truth of a situation. You see, I always think it's interesting when there's three swords here and then there's one sword here. It's that pivotal point between the past and the present in order to allow you to move forward, in order to allow you to reconnect with yourself. Certainly in relationships, we have... Um, Venus and Saturn opposite each other, so that could cause some testing times in relationships as well. So some of you might be feeling that through this energy. But I really think that just taking time to see the truth of a situation, to get a little perspective through this energy, will allow you to release and move on. Because there's a new beginning right next to this card, and we have it with a devil energy. Now we have the, I mean Capricorn, the, the devil is, is the Capricorn card and we have the Ace of Pentacles, so the power of Earth. And it is using that, Cap in, in one sense it's using that Capricorn energy to your advantage in a way. Um, tenth house, so career and social status. This moon though it will bring up intense energies, good or bad, um, if you do things from the heart, if you go with the flow in a way and allow yourself to see truths of situations and really try and walk a fine balancing act, not allow yourself to fall into this insecurity, um, there is a kind of message that you can really certainly transform your money and career aspect. There are opportunities to bring new transformations, new beginnings. Because um, that's what that Pluto energy does, uh, very much about death, destruction, transformation, rebirth. And with, conjunct with that moon energy, uh, the, the planet of, of illusion, deception, not dissimilar to the devil in that respect. It is, it is about seeing the truth of a situation in order to see, to see opportunity. Um, because in this intensity, there is opportunity for transformation as well. So, yeah, I, this devil energy is where you need to ground yourself with this, the power of earth. The Ace of Pentacles is that power of earth card. By grounding yourself, you won't be swayed by 
chant you won't be swayed by illusion you won't be swayed by giving your power to other people you won't be swayed by allowing yourself to sink into that negativity but instead you will allow it to release you you will allow yourself to move on by releasing the past this can talk about negativities toxic relationships could be in business or could be in in love um things that have held on to you for far too long without you probably realizing it again this is about deep intense emotion coming back good or bad in order to allow you to transform and move forward so beautiful energy there and there could be i mean pentacles is very much about the, the stability and structure that we need in our lives so our family our our money, our careers, our homes, our possessions, the, the structures, the tangible assets, uh, the securities that we need. And there is something about you overcoming your demons by really allowing yourself to take time out to focus and see where there is opportunity to move on and really understand what you need to release as well. There is opportunity here, certainly in love, to move on with the heart, certainly family and home. There's opportunity to move on in money and career, which is really what, obviously, we, it's cancer season, it's a Capricorn full moon. Um, that is pretty much what those energies are saying to us. But it is overcoming extremes with that sun opposite Pluto, so excessive reaction and also the the um moon opposite sorry the moon conjunct with pluto can talk where you keep yourself stuck i also think this four of, of swords can be when you fixate on something and um, this can be a card of, this can be where you're fixating and keeping yourself stuck on something that you need to release so yeah just be aware of that extreme behavior and the outcome if you really tread that fine balance we have the three of wands and we have the death energy yeah this is a scorpio card this is about letting go this is about liberation this is about letting go of all baggage things coming up being resurrected from the past in order for you to let go, let things die. This is the Phoenix Rising card. So it is very much about allow yourself to really transform now by really letting go. And when you do, we have the young emperor here, uh, the sun in Aries. The three of wands is very much about opportunity um, using that energy by letting go allowing yourself to be liberated and moving on in a situation, turning your back on things that you've now dealt with, now you've done with, and, yeah, allowing that positive transformation in. But it's a beautiful energy, the death card, uh, because it's the point in time where it says there are things in life that you don't need to take with you. There are things in life where you're carrying too much baggage, it is also about looking at where you're placing restrictions on yourself, certainly in this energy. You know, when you look at other people, what other people are doing, when you mourn what's gone, you might be mourning what they're doing and not focusing on your own path, which is these two cups here. And this is where you need to really get perspective, focus back on your own path and really understand other areas of your life that you are clinging on to that you're not allowing yourself to move forward by looking at somebody else. You're not focusing on your own path, which is right in front of you, and therefore keeping yourself stuck. So I feel for some of you, there's a real liberation with that death card to move forward. So very much about let go, release, break free in this respect, and, and move forward, because that's very much what the tower energy was asking you to do was to be liberated, to be uncaged from those four walls in order to really move forward from the heart and also um, in, in real terms as well, in terms of career. Um, so beautiful energies there. So yeah, 
I will take these cards again because this is beautiful. There's a promise of something wonderful. There's a promise of, again, that Venus in Scorpio, there's a promise of real opportunity for some of you. And these opportunities, there are a number of opportunities here, good and bad. And it says that it's up to you to really make it happen. You have the power to transform your opportunities for the better. You have the magic within. So believe in that. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.